He can't close any faster. This is the second big play from Brandon Johnson. I mean, just route reading, not pedaling, and sprinting, and the ball's just a bit behind. That's the game of inches. We saw the details of this Northwestern offense in the beginning of the game. Sometimes they didn't convert because the, the route discipline wasn't quite right. The route discipline was right on that one, but the ball is just slightly in. They need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. On third and one, they run it. Just talked about it on Duke's possession. You do not want to reach the ball over in this scenario. Let's see if he tries to reach over. Oh, what a call. It looks like he might have been trying to get that ball in the end zone. And the game of inches bites Northwestern again. Oh, Ernest Biner's going to give him a call on Monday and say, partner, I know what you feel. Good golly. What a call on the field by this officiating crew to notice in real time that Hall had not crossed the end line. Darius Joyner comes in and puts his helmet directly on the football, and Coach Elko owes him dinner. They are not going to be known as a finesse team as long as Mike Elko is in charge. Jalen Fowler is back in charge of the Aggies offense, and they'll go nowhere. First down. On second down and six. Heavy pressure. Ball comes loose. Pounced on by Duke. The fumble by Fowler. Vincent Anthony was the guy that knocked Rolling it away the and recovered the by the Blue Devils. The Duke gets some penetration. Unblocked defender. Just take the ball, eat it away. Don't give them a chance to get this football. Rolling on the field was a fumble it's recovered Anthony by the recovery. defense. For just 138 yards. One TD pass, one interception of the game last Friday against Syracuse. Billy Kemp is toppled in a loss of one. Phil Longo. Carolina 6 of 8 on third down. Here's May in trouble. He'll be sacked. Blue Devils come up with the sack out of the secondary. Brandon Johnson. Get pressure from the right side. Johnson's kind of lined up right over the guard, and sometimes those smaller guys give. But still, you got to be careful, and you can't turn it over again this end of the field. Third and long. Pressure from Duke. Here comes the blitz, and the second wave gets Tyler Van Dyke. It's been a strength this season 46%, the fourth in the ACC. Trying to convert here. Pressure from the back side. He goes down again. The ball bounces out. Duke trying to fall on it. Brandon Johnson coming off the same edge as last time and again there's two waves I'm not sure the fumble will stand regardless two big stops by the defense and hoping that Tyler Van Dyke is okay we'll check on him of course when we return but this Duke defense back to back third down stops getting off the field Provided the spark halfway through the third quarter, scored right away, hoping to get seven here, Garcia. He's pressured, trying to get away, and he can't. Brandon Johnson blitzing in. He has dialed up some critical blitzes. No, he absolutely has, Tom, and, and the thing is, and how about Brandon Johnson going after that football? Great job by Garcia. What a football game this has turned out to be. Henry Parrish gets the call. Has a stiff arm, his man at the 30. Reinforcements came in the course of Darius. Virginia got that win on Thursday, James, at Georgia Tech, which had won two in a row. After the dismissal of their head coach. This one is picked off as well. Brandon Johnson has a clean alley to the end zone. Interception return for a touchdown, Brandon Johnson. And that is turnover number seven. Plenty of time for the young quarterback and you know just an underthrown football. I, I guess when, when you do look at it right there it's Frank Latson that is coming back up near the sideline there. But just not even close to enough air under that one is. Doesn't get any easier. Hokies 0 for 3 on third downs. Make it 0 for 4. 
the pressure gets to Wells. Brandon Johnson, his fourth sack of the season. The formation, they motioned across. He didn't go with him. That's got to be a little bit of a red flag for you that he didn't run with the guy that looked like Sounds I good can, to me. I can tell you, Business and Gravy will do it for you. I've done that. <laughs> it's a well. Pressure coming. Wells is down. He's going to come clean again. Does a good job of timing it up. And just not enough pokies to block Blue Devils on this play. And that's something that Wells has to understand. He's got to get the ball out, and they've got to build in.